Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome back. Our topic is integration. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use integration to calculate volume. We'll be working with two integration rules. These are rules relating to volume, volume of revolution around one of the axes. The first rule we're given, that is an integral with respect to x, is what we use when we're calculating volume for a revolution around the x axis. The second rule is with respect to y. This is what we're using when we're calculating volume of a revolution around the y axis. Before working examples, let's look a bit more closely at the first rule, and our observations will also apply to the second rule. Notice that outside of the integration, we're multiplying by pi, and we're going to, in the integration, square the function. We've seen pi something squared in another context. Pi r squared is area of a circle. There's a relationship between the volume of revolution, that is pi integral of function squared, and the area of a circle, which is pi radius squared. If we're working with, in our coordinate plane, any particular function, and I'll call this function f of x, if we take one point on the x-axis, whatever that value might be, we'll call that value a. If I go up to the curve, up to the function, from the x-axis up to the function is a radius of a circular slice of an object that we create by rotating this function 360 degrees around the x-axis. So this vertical length is a radius of one slice of the three-dimensional shape that we create by rotating the function around the x-axis. So we can think about this very thin slice as a circle. The integration rule that we're using is taking the area concept, pi times radius squared, applying that to a very thin slice of what's going to end up as a three-dimensional shape. And if we consider the thickness of the circle to become infinitesimally small, we can apply the concept of the area calculation for a circle to calculate volume using the integration rules given. Let's move on to our example. Find the volume obtained when the region bounded by y equals 0 and y equals the cube root of x minus x is rotated 360 degrees about the x-axis. To begin, I'm going to create a diagram. Usually, you'll be given a diagram. If not, it is helpful to create one. So looking at the boundaries that they've provided in the problem, we have y equals 0, that's the x-axis, and y equals the cube root of x minus x. And our curve is about like this. And I want to find the volume of revolution revolving this function around the x-axis 360 degrees. In order to set up my integration, I need to know the limits, which you can use algebra to find. I'll simply note that what my limits are are 0 and 1. These are the two points on the x-axis that I'm going to use as my limits of integration. Now to my algorithm. Step 1, identify function type. Looking at this function, I see y equals cube root of x minus x is a basic power function. The variable is in the base, and that base is raised to a particular exponent. Um, in particular in this step, looking for anything such as an opportunity for substitution, the need to use integration by parts. So here I have sort of a plain vanilla kind of function. I'll simply note that this is a power function. Step 2, apply integration rule. What I want to focus on is this is a volume problem. We have two options for integration of volume of revolution. In the requirements, we're asked for a rotation about the x-axis, so we're going to use the integration rule that is set with respect to x. Volume equals pi times the definite integral, and our limits of integration a to b are 0 to 1. We want to square our function. 
our function is the cube root of x minus x. So I'm going to write this as x to the power of 1 third minus x squared with respect to x. When we complete this calculation, we'll have the volume of our 3D object. Now working through our calculation, we have volume equals pi times the definite integral from 0 to 1 of our expression squared will expand to x to the power of 2 thirds minus 2 times x to the power of 1 third times x is x to the power of 4 thirds plus x squared and all of these terms are with respect to x. Now integrating term by term multiplying everything by pi x to the power of 2 over 3 I'm going to increase the exponent to x to the power of 5 over 3 and I'll multiply by 1 over that exponent 5 over 3 the next term minus 2 times x to the power of 4 over 3 again we'll increase the exponent from 4 over 3 to 7 over 3 and then we will multiply by 1 over that exponent 1 over 7 over 3 plus x to the power of 2 once again increasing the exponent here from 2 to 3 and then multiplying by 1 over that exponent 1 over 3 step 3 include constant of integration because this is a definite integral I don't need the constant of integration. Remember, working with definite integrals, no need for a constant of integration. I will show my limits of integration outside of the brackets 0 to 1. Step 4, simplify. Volume equals pi times 1 over 5 thirds is 3 over 5 times x to the power of 5 over 3. Negative 2 times 1 over 7 thirds is negative 2 times 3 over 7, which is negative 6 over 7 times x to the power of 7 over 3 plus 1 third x to the power of 3 from 0 to 1. And step 5 if limits of integration given as they are in this example calculate definite integral value so our volume equals pi times first I'll insert 1 into each term inputting 1 into the x spot 1 to the power of 5 thirds is 1 times 3 fifths is 3 over 5 minus x becomes 1 to the power of 7 thirds is 1 times 6 over 7 is 6 over 7 and finally plus x becomes 1 to the power of 3 is 1 times 1 over 3 is 1 third minus and in brackets to include all terms and distribute the minus sign going back to the first term and now inputting 0 0 to the power of anything is 0 times anything is 0. The next term, minus, again, 0 replacing the x to the power of anything is 0 times anything is 0. The same will happen with the third term, plus 0. All of those terms zero out with the input of 0 replacing x. And finally, combining our fractions and multiplying by pi, volume equals 8 over 105 pi and keeping in mind that we're calculating volume units cubed so the volume obtained when the given region is rotated 360 degrees about the x-axis is 8 over 105 pi units cubed we've completed our requirements and this concludes volume example one